What's going on? What's going on? It's your boy that will do. And today we're going to be talking about a review of Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Just got back from the theaters. <coughs> Excuse me. Just got back from the theaters with the wife. And um, I got to say, man, I really liked the movie. It was good. Um, it wasn't the greatest thing in the world. There was some disappointments. And before you guys continue on into this video, I'm letting you know now this video has spoilers. I'm spoiling the shit out of this film. I really like the movie, but I want to get into what I didn't like first. Uh, one of the things I didn't like were the dream, the dream sequences in the film. So there's a part in the movie where we see the, the origins of Batman, so to speak, and we see what happened to his parents. And then in the funeral, the young Bruce Wayne, he runs into the forest and he's running away. And eventually he falls down into the pit, into the, the underground cave where the bats are at. So, that, you know, it was happening, it was cool. Then all of a sudden, the bats start flying around him and you see little Bruce flying, floating, levitating, whatever you want to call it. And I was mad. I was like, yo, that Bullshit! That shit didn't happen, man. What the hell? My wife's like, "Yo, calm down. Maybe it's a dream." I'm like, "Oh, who, uh, I didn't want to hear it. Like, I was mad because I, I, I didn't know a lot of you guys. I kind of went into this expecting the worst. So then, at the end of the, the scene, he goes, "That's how I. That's how it happens in a the dream. They take me to the light. So they carry him out in the light. And I'm like, oh, okay, it was a dream. All right, I got over it quick, but." I didn't. I wasn't led to. I wasn't led to feel like it was a dream sequence. It felt like it was a part of the origin story. Like that's what happened when he decided to become Batman. And I didn't like that. Same way when he had to, when when he dreamed when he was dreaming about stealing the that big piece of crypto um kryptonite from Lex Luthor. When you see him dressed as Nightmare Batman and the Doomsday Minions come and and they beat him up. With, with those with those SWAT team with the Superman insignia and, and that's when Superman unmasks him. It didn't feel like a dream. It was but you see the guy just wake up, oh and I was like, oh come on, like cause he was doing things that he he's he's against. Like he was shooting people, he was using guns, he was using live ammo, he was herbing all them dudes though. But still, you know, it's something he he's not known to do. Now, I know, I got a feeling that, that if people do actually complain or somebody does get the interview with Zack Snyder and they complain about that fact, he's going to try to use the Killing Joke storyline as as an excuse, in a sense. He's going to be like, well, you got to understand, you know, Batman's been through a lot. This is a, a world post-Killing Joke Robin where Joker killed Robin, as you can see. That's why they showed the armor. You know, ha, 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 the joke's on you, Batman. So, you know, he started to resort to that. That's still not the case, man. Like, you can't you can't take some something that's a cornerstone of a superhero and fix it. Like, I'm not a fan of that. I wasn't feeling that at all. I wasn't feeling that Batman was using live ammo at all. Not even in the game, dude. In the, in the Arkham trilogy... Oh, look, look, I forgot how many games it is. It's four, I believe. He does not in no way, f shape, or form use live ammo. Even when he when he shoots people, he's shooting capacitating bullets. He's shooting the beanbag bullets. Those things do just as much damage. He could have used that. Why not? He wanted to look cool and do stuff. That's what it is. And that's why I feel like this movie was poorly written. There was a lot of things missing. There was a lot of mashing up. I wasn't really feeling that, man. Uh, I feel like this film was, to me, the three main story arcs was maybe Trinity, because you got Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Death of Superman, because Doomsday's involvement and, spoiler alert, Superman died. And then you got The Dark Knight Returns, which... Batman wears the armor. He fights Superman. He makes the spear, which in the comic book it was an arrow, um, with kryptonite and stuff like that. So I feel like 
that was just a mashup. Like, they just did that to use fillers. Like, oh, we're going to throw this guy in here because it's going to be cool. But in all reality, even if it was cool, it was a poor attempt at it, and it was poorly executed. You just did that to fill in the gap, so to speak, in my honest opinion. You guys might feel different about it, but I was, I, li I did like it. Um, I'm kind of bummed that for even even though the movie was a lot primarily going back and forth between Metropolis and Gotham, we didn't get more characters. I kind of feel like one of the guys is gonna be Firefly. Uh, you know who I'm talking. About. I'm talking about that guy that that he was also in Captain America: Winter Soldier. He was Crossbones right hand man. He was the guy with the um with the shock stick in the elevator scene in Winter Soldier. He was in the movie. <clears throat> At the end, he had a flamethrower. you trying to kill um, Superman's mother, but Batman saved him. Uh, another thing I didn't like was, and I'm sorry to say this because I kind of counted my chickens before I hatched. Well, in, the, in I believe August or September maybe, I, I met Jesse Eisenberg. I met him in person. Like, yo, gave him, shook his hand and everything. Uh, he was sitting on 96 in Park, eating some lunch, and I was doing my delivery runs, and I told him, I said, yo, Mr. Eisenberg, I don't mean to bother you, because I already know, you know, he's he got OCD, he's a germaphobe, you know, I didn't want to do nothing like that, you know, I didn't want to interact with him that much, because I didn't want him to, to wake out, but I just wanted to thank him, I said, you know, I want to thank you on taking on such a role that a lot of us fanboys hold dear to us, because, you know, a lot of us have our favorite villains when it comes to certain um, characters. So, like, for instance, I love Wolverine, and my favorite Wolverine villain of all time is, of course, is Sabretooth. And so he, Lex Luthor is what Sabretooth is the Wolverine, Lex Luthor is the Superman. So, you know what I'm saying? So, like, my favorite my favorite Batman villain is actually, is actually Joker. But my second one is Two-Face. I really like Two-Face a lot. But anyway, back to the, so, you know, I, 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 you know, I applauded him on that, shook his hand, said, thank you so much, I hope, I hope the movie does well, I hope you did good, and whatnot, but I really feel, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed in that performance, I'm, I wasn't feeling him as Lex Luthor at all, because the Lex Luthor I know which I, which was portrayed by Gene Hagman and Kevin Spacey, they were pretty good. They were about the same to me. It's like, you know the saying, oh, you want a, you want a lady in the streets with a freak in the bed. That was Lex Luthor. In the streets, so to speak, he was a businessman. Keen, sharp, intelligent, knew how to speak, how to present himself. Um, In this one, in this Lex Luthor, he was he was okay, but he wasn't savvy. Like he would he would talk to the the government people, and 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 he would give the government people a glimpse of this of his psyche, his psychotic psyche, like how bugged out he was. And um, I don't know if that was because of what he was what his goal was, but. Like, cause the plot, the plot thickened. Like, I guess that female senator called wind of him and was like, "I'm cutting you off. You're not getting that." But he got it anyway. Uh, I would have liked to see him maybe be a a bat villain, maybe a scarecrow, Mad Hatter, something like that. Not scarecrow, the Riddler actually, cause I I like um the guy that plays scarecrow in the the Nolan trilogy. But um, I wasn't feeling him that much. Uh, Mr. Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor. I'm sorry to say, great actor, but I wasn't feeling that. Uh, what else? I already went over that. I went over. I went over that. A lot of the stuff. A lot of the stuff was pretty good. A lot of the interactions. Um, I didn't like how. How um, Batman and Superman joined forces. It was kind of. Kind of stupid, but um, all it took was a, a name, cause you know Superman and Batman they both share the mother. Their mothers have the same name, so it was like, how you know Batman? Like, how you know? 
And he got the kryptonite speed. He about to give him the business. But I wasn't really feeling Doomsday. I didn't like that they made him with uh, General Zod's body. Even though Doomsday is a, crypt a Kryptonian. He's an ancient Kryptonian, actually. And, uh, but I wasn't feeling that, that they used um, the General Zod aspect of that with uh, Lex Luthor's blood. It's kind of stupid, but I can see why they used Doomsday. They, they could have used a number of other people. Me personally, I think I would have I would have stood with um Dark Dark Side. I would have stood with him because you already used his minions. You know what I'm saying? The, his demons. But um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I don't know. Especially if it's supposed to be leading up to uh, Justice League. Now, again, the film was written kind of weak to me. There was a lot of fillers. The action was great. Ben Affleck kicked ass, bro. I'm, I'll be the first to admit, when I found out he was playing Batman, I was like, nah, it's not going to work. But as I, now as a fan, I'm, I rewatch these movies and I see that the problem with Affleck is a lot of the movie roles he, he gets, a lot of the story arcs suck. It's poorly written, poorly. Like, Daredevil, Daredevil was a decent movie. He played a good Daredevil, but it was just written shitty. It was sucked. Because if you notice, Smoke and Aces, even though he died early, he was good. Argo, I think he co-wrote the screenplay for it. It was based on a true story. He was phenomenal. And then that other girl, that other movie, what was that movie with Ben Affleck? What was that movie with Ben Affleck, Gone Girl? Yeah. Gone Girl. Gone Girl, he was crazy good. He made me a believer. I, that when I saw Gone Girl, I was like, yo, he could pull off uh, the Bruce Wayne. And he did. He knocked it out. I'm not a fan of the way that the, the suit was. The suit was dope. The body, his cow. Oh, I did not like. I did not like the cow. But he did it. <clears throat> and I don't know, maybe Kevin Smith had gave him some help because I know they cool. But if that was the case, Kevin Smith, kudos to you. I really appreciate that, man. But he did his thing. I can't. I hope to see Ben, ben Affleck uh, continue to reprise that role. He, re, he definitely redeemed himself. He wasn't a bad dead that would all to begin with. It's just a weak story. But um, he did his thing. Gail Godot, she did her thing. I, I wasn't, again, I was like, damn, she's too skinny. But she did her thing. She did her thing. Um, she is Wonder Woman. I, I like the way she fought. I like the way she looked. I like, um, I like that they didn't make her, like, you know, in a, in a sense, like, she's a, a female hero, and it's like she can hang with the boys, and I like that. That was cool. Um, I like, I liked how they introduced the other members of the Justice League so far, so we get to see Cyborg, Flash, I wasn't feeling his look on uh, Aquaman. And I, I think there was one more. Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Flash. Aquaman. Yeah, that's it. So I like the way they introduced them. Jason Momoa looked cool. Even though he didn't look too comfortable under the water when he was swimming, he, he looked like he was about to drown. Like he, didn't look, he looked like he wasn't feeling it. But um, it was cool. I like that. It was a good. It was good. I uh, can't wait to see more of them. Except for the Flash. I wasn't feeling him. I would much rather, I would much rather they bring the kid from the CW television show on Justice League, as opposed to this guy, even though I recently read an article a couple days ago that the, the guy that, that played Flash in this movie uh, started to buff up because he heard a lot of people talking crap about him. Um, I like Jeremy Irons. He's a great actor. I've always said it. He always got, cr but he, like like Ben Affleck, he always felt victim to crappy roles or, or crappy storyline films. But he's a great, phenomenal actor. He played a great Alfred. Uh, witty, smart. Um, I didn't like, also, I didn't like that they made Batman an alcoholic. I hated that. I hate that because in a sense, Batman is like, he's straight edge, bro. Like, he don't do drugs. He don't do nothing like that. And, um, you know, he had a vice. He had vices here. He drank a lot. Uh, he using them guns. I, didn't, I wasn't feeling that. I wasn't feeling that at all about him. I don't know why they did that. Um, what else? 
The visual effects were great. I liked I liked um the fighting. Yo, Batman, this was Batman to his fullest be like he used all his knowledge. I like that he made those kryptonite gas grenades, the spear. He went all out, even though he wasted a lot of kryptonite. He went in. He went in, and I like I liked his interaction when he every time he was in the Batcave, how he worked. It felt it kind of felt like I was watching the animated series cartoon, and um, the fight scenes were phenomenal. They they were very reminiscent of the video games, like the sequencing and all that. That's, that was crazy dope. I didn't like the beginning though. A lot of people were talking about that scene when he's hiding in that corner with the cop looking around. I, I wasn't feeling that either. He should have been somewhere else, and maybe in the next floor in the shadows or whatever. But um, it was a good movie. There's no after after credit picturing. Nothing. It's just when it ends, it ends. Again, I know it's supposed to lead up to Dark Side. That's what the that picture represented. The picture of the devils and the angels fighting. But um. <clears throat> I really like this film, man. I was surprised. I tried to go in unbiased, but a lot of guys whose opinions I value in the on Facebook and the toy community and all that, they, a lot of them complained. They, they didn't like it. But it was pretty good. I really liked it. I liked it. I, I think it's going to be better than Suicide. I think this film will be better than Suicide Squad, my honest opinion. I don't think Suicide Squad is going to be all that. But um, I really dug the movie a lot. It was it was enjoyable. It was a bit too serious for me in a sense. Uh, it could have been maybe a little bit more funnier. Again, Superman was dark as shit. Uh, Shardamus mentioned it too. He said that he didn't like that Superman didn't smile enough. But I kind I kind of understand why they did that. Again, he was trying to figure out who or what he wanted to be. Um, I didn't really care much for Lois Lane. I, I really hate when we get. I really hate when we get these love stories and tagged into these comic book sh movies. I, I, it bothers me a lot. And um, but other than that, the the movie was great. I can't wait to see what what else it leads to. It's it's crazy. It's, it's a ride. I love it. I, I probably I might I might try to see it again. I might try to see it again in 3D, maybe. Let's see what happens. But um, a lot of the, a lot of the, um, a lot of the, what you call it, the, the previews were good. We had the X Men, the Civil War, of course, um, Suicide Squad. A lot of comic, comic based um, previews were shown. But <clears throat> I really feel like you should check this out. There's a chance you're gonna either like it or you're gonna hate it. <clears throat> I like it. I don't think it's the greatest thing in the world. I'm still a Marvel head at the end of the day, but the fact of the matter is I did enjoy the movie. And I want to I wanna tip my cap off to you. Hey, give me an applause. Ben Affleck, you're fucking great, man. You did a great job, bro. If I ever, if I ever get to meet you one day, man, I'm going to give you a hug. Um, I got a lot of guys impressing me with these with these these roles. You got John Berthal, Season 2 Daredevil. Can't get no better than that, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like Thomas Jane and I like Gray Stevens. But damn. John Bernthal, you are the Punisher. Um, Batman, Ben Affleck, you're the new Batman, bro. Thank you. Thank you for bringing that shit back to the United States. Because, you know, all these all these English guys starting to play our, our characters, like Henry Cavill and stuff, you know. But um, I really, I really digging it. I digging it a lot. Oh, and another question. I don't know if you guys noticed. There's a picture that Batman gives Wonder Woman. Tell me that dude next to her don't look like Chris Pine, that guy that plays Cat um, Kurt from Star Trek. Let me know what you guys think about that. There was some good Easter eggs, you know. I'm, I, I, I liked it, man. It was cool. It was cool. I like I liked um, Aquaman a lot. I can't wait to see how that's going to be. But anyway, man, that's my review on this film. I hope you enjoy it. Go check it out. You will not be disappointed. If you don't want to spend too much money, go see it in standard definition. But you got to check this movie out. It's pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think once you get a peep at the film. I gladly value you guys' opinions. We're all entitled to it. So this is mine. I liked it. Go see it. It's your boy that was doing. I'm out. One.